Today we're going to do a vegetable casserole, and today is January 2011, so if I'm dressed like it's winter when you're watching this, it's because it's winter when I'm making it. Um, anyway, it's, gonna, it's a modified recipe from um, the American Institute for Cancer Research. They do a newsletter and they include recipes, and I modified it just a little bit. Um, Base one, I wanted to take out the white potatoes, and it called for butternut squash, so I thought, well, um, I'll use cauliflower instead of the potatoes, but at the store they didn't have butternut squash, so then I ended up doing carrots, blah, 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 and then I ended up just with whatever vegetables looked good at the time. I have frozen cauliflower because the fresh cauliflower didn't look good. Um, so I'm going to use carrots, zucchini, onion, so I've got two zucchinis, about five carrots, a half of an onion, um, about six uh, mushrooms, some minced garlic. They call for whole cloves, um, peeled and placed in the mixture whole, but I didn't have any of those. Um, diced tomatoes, it calls for the whole can. I'm going to see if that's too much as I'm mixing it together. Um, and the spices are, other than the minced garlic, about a half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, and basil. And you mix all of these together, except the Parmesan cheese, in a bowl, so you get the spices um, on everything well. And then you spray a baking sheet, um, put all your vegetables in here, put foil over it, bake it for about an hour at 375, but I would check it sooner. Um, since there's no butternut squash, it might not take that long. And after the 45 minutes to an hour, take off the foil if you like, let it cook another 10 minutes or so, and then you sprinkle the Parmesan cheese, a couple tablespoons, two or three, on the top and broil it so that the cheese gets kind of um, brown and bubbly. I'll show you that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I've already done most of the prep work, so I just need to cut the zucchinis and onions and carrots, and think about sort of, you know, bite-sized pieces because it's technically a casserole. So let me get this chopped up and mixed in the bowl, and I'll show you that as we're putting it in the oven. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to bring the camera over in a second. Um, as I was putting this together, if you guys know me at all, I like color, lots of different colors, and that's why I didn't use some of the things that the recipe called for because it was too much green or what, what have you. I really wanted something yellow. A nice yellow bell pepper would have went well in here, but I couldn't find a decent one or one I wanted to spend. I wasn't going to pay $1.50 for one pepper. Um, it calls for olive oil in this mixture. I'm going to use a little bit of the non-fat spray. Olive oil is very good for your heart. I would suggest that when you take it out of the oven, you drizzle a teaspoon or two over the dish instead of cooking with it. So I'm going to bring the camera over here when I do the tomatoes so we can see together if I need the whole can. So a little bit of garlic powder, and I just know that that's half a teaspoon because I know. Um, and onion powder, trust me, basil and oregano. Seems like whenever you have tomatoes you have basil and oregano. And it had also suggested you use dill, but I couldn't find that either. I wasn't having a good day shopping yesterday. It could very well be that the calling for snow, and when you live in the South, as in North Carolina, and they call for snow, everybody goes to the grocery store and buys everything. Um, here's some of that minced garlic. So again, I have carrots, onions, mushrooms, cauliflower, and zucchini. I'm just going to use a teaspoon of this garlic. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring the camera over so you can see the veggies need to be stirred. I don't know if I can hold the camera. Can you stir? I need an assistant. And now you see the green coming up there. I want to get 
them coated with the spices. Okay, there's no meat in this, but the cheese adds some protein to it. And if you add olive oil, that does too. All right, I'm going to start with half a can. Let's see if I can rig this camera up. Um, it calls for an 11 by 7 dish, and actually, I think I will go ahead and use a different one. I didn't think I was going to have that many vegetables, so now I'm using this one. Spray the bottom. Not that I think that's necessary. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's good. It's good to change the pan, too. The other one would have been too small. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to cover it with foil. I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes and then see how tender these are because the carrots are what's going to take the longest to cook, as would have the butternut squash if we had made it that way, which if you have the choice, the butternut squash or even sweet potatoes. Of the three orange things, those are the three I would pick from. <laughs> All right, I'll touch back shortly. Well, it sure smells good, so let's see what's going on. It's been in there for about 30 minutes. I'm going to take it out, take it off the foil, and put it back in for um, some minutes. And, well, you know, I didn't check the vegetables at all, um, so I'm going to stick a fork in it. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing you over. Let's see if I can... can smell the spices and the tomatoes more than anything. So this is 30 minutes at 375, maybe 35 minutes. Okay. The carrots are just a little bit, that's all. Everything else is good. So I'm going to, like I said, take the cover off. We do 10 more minutes, and then we'll add the Parmesan cheese and do a few more minutes after that. Can you see that? Yeah. There we go. All right, so 10 more minutes in the oven at 375. Okay, I actually kept it in the oven for 20 minutes without the foil because actually the direction said cook it like half the time with it and half the time without if you like. So, now we have about 30 minutes with foil, 20 minutes without. And we're going to sprinkle on the Parmesan cheese and then broil it for just a few minutes so that the cheese gets bubbly. I've already put my Parmesan cheese in a little cup here. And you can certainly use fresh grated Parmesan or um, I've suddenly had a brain cramp. I can't remember the other kind of cheese. Romano maybe? All right, looks good. Putting it in the oven on broil. I'll be right back with you because you don't want to leave it in there on broil for very long. Just a couple minutes. Okay, here it is. Maybe I kept it in there just a tad too long, but I think it still looks yummy. Um, so, vegetable casserole. Um, if you drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, that will be fine. Um, very low-calorie dish, and it looks like it will be nice and warm and filling, too. <laughs>